Game Builder Studio. Hi, I'm Levon. I'm going to show you guys how to create an iPad game, an open source game that's uh, available for free. And we're going to recreate it inside of Game Builder Studio for the iPad. And uh, we're going to do all of this uh, without any code. This game is called Hungry Hero. It was developed um, by one of the designers at Adobe, Himanth. Sharma, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Um, I'll just show you quickly here kind of how the game set up. And pretty much you just eat all of the, the food and, and avoid the obstacles that are, that are in the way. So we're going to recreate this uh, in Game Builder Studio. All right, we're going to start with a brand new project. We're going to create a basic 2D game. I've already created the folder where I'm going to save my game. I've named it uh, Hungry Hero Demo. I have to name the, the file, the project file, the exact name as the parent folder. Otherwise, Game Builder Studio will create another folder uh, with its own structure. So I'm going to just save this project right away to the Hungry Hero Demo folder. I'm going to name it the same exact thing. And you'll notice uh, there's a resources folder in here that I already created with all the assets for you. Um, there's a number of things you got to do to prepare your assets um, from creating your font files ahead of time, your font sheets uh, for custom fonts, as well as uh, the Hungry Hero sprite sheet with all of the different um, assets in it. And we'll cover creating the sprite sheet later. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to import all of those assets right now just by selecting all of them. I'm not going to select the default assets that I have in here. I'm going to unselect those and it will import everything and, and I'll go in here and check out the Hungry Hero Sprite Sheet. Now here if I double click on it it will show you this little hidden um, asset editor. This is not fully fleshed out yet but um, it allows you to, to see all the frames uh, of your sprite sheet and the number for each frame so you can reference this later when animating um, your sprite sheets um, by frame. You can also add animation clips here attached to the sprite sheet asset so if you drag it um, into the scene it'll it'll come pre-filled with any animation clips you have there. Now we want to set the project screen size to the iPad resolution of 1024 by 768. You can go to the settings screen, go to your project settings. Let's just change this. Let's see. Now, if you uh, have the pro version of Game Builder Studio, you also have access to the publish screen to publish to iOS. You just select the uh, target platform here, and you will we'll be able to fill this out. We'll fill this out a little later. Uh, to deploy this to uh, to our device, but now your project should be all set up, and uh, we'll we'll be able to move on to the next step. 